Proverbs chapter 16 verse 9. A man's mind plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps and makes them sure. Your plans are God's plan. We must learn to wait for God's plan to develop. He perfects everything that concerns us. Through boldness, moves in God's timing, it moves at the right time. During the three years of Jesus' earthly ministry, people thought he was crazy. His own brothers were embarrassed by him. And in an effort to save their reputation, they told him he needed to go somewhere else and do his works. If he was unwilling to do that, they had another option for him. They told him to take actions and stop doing his works in secret. They tried to convince him it was time to show himself and his works to the world. In other words, they wanted Jesus to impress the people with what he could do. He responded to them by saying, My time has not come yet. How many of us could show that type of self-control? If you could do the miracles that he could do and were being made pan of and challenged to show your stuff, what would you do? Would you wait until you absolutely knew that it was the right time? Or would you take action that was not sanctioned by God? It is good to have plans, and I believe we should plan boldly and aggressively. But we must be wise enough to know that our plans will ultimately fail without God. God's word says, Except the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. We can build without God as our foundation, but like any other building, without a strong foundation, we will eventually fall. Are you operating in your own timing or are you trusting God's timing? Trust God, His plans are always best.